exactly the Xiaomi Redmi 4 that went on sale last week in India and I was lucky to get my hands on it. The Redmi 4 is positioned below the Note 4 and is right now the best budget phone from Xiaomi stable for India. So let's go ahead and unbox this new member of the Redmi family. The package is a typical Xiaomi style plain white box. The number 4 is embossed on the front of the box. Taking a closer look at the box and we see that it is made in India itself, which is good to see. I kinda like the Make in Indian Lion logo, it looks cooler than this plain Jane looking one. Also know that the version I have here is the 2GB RAM and 16GB ROM. Xiaomi also has the Redmi 4 in 332 and 464GB which will later go on sale on Amazon.in and Mi.com slash in. I wish Xiaomi would make the package a little more appealing. Well, it's not bad now, but that's just my two cents. They still make great phones, so thumbs up to that. Let's open up the box and take a look at what we get inside. As usual, we are greeted by the phone itself. And wow, this is a great looking device. Xiaomi has some cheesed out on the build. Great stuff. Next, we have the usual manuals and warranty info. The USB charger and data cable along with the SIM tool. Let's put these aside and take a closer look at the device, shall we? The device feels great to hold in the hand. The front of the phone looks exactly like the Note 4, only a bit smaller. The front of the display is covered by 2.5D glass that curves into the edges for smooth user experience. The back of the phone has a matte finish to it. The edges curve in ever so slightly, so single-handed usage is no problem here. I like this matte finish a little better than the one on the Note 4. However, it still is a fingerprint magnet. Coming to the specs, the Redmi 4 has a 5-inch HD display, not full HD, and powered by the Snapdragon 435 octa-core chipset. It has a 13MP primary shooter and a 5MP selfie shooter, a whopping 4100mAh battery and a fingerprint scanner. Note that all the variants get the fingerprint scanner unlike the Redmi 3 series. The phone runs on Android Marshmallow. That's a bummer, but Xiaomi runs its own version of Android, the MIUI 8. It is feature-packed, no doubt, and has most features of newer ROMs. The fingerprint scanner on the back is a little upper when compared to usual placements on other phones. On the top, we have the primary camera, the flash, and the bottom gets the MI logo in black. The device has a micro USB 2 port, a speaker port, and a microphone at the bottom. Left side houses the SIM tray. Note, you can use two SIMs or a single SIM and an SD card. On the right, we have the volume rocker and power button, very tactile. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the Note 4. The Redmi 4 might just take the crown of the best budget phone in India. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, do hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Until next time, see ya!